last time you guys saw the E36, you saw the struggle I had getting the roll bar out of the car to get it powder coated. That f sucked. And you know what the worst part about it is? Yeah, that wasn't there before. The E36 has been pending further updates because I don't have the roll bar. Without the roll bar, I can't put the interior back together and so it sits. Just like that. Missing absolutely everything in here, pretty much. But the roll bar is done, so I'm gonna go pick that up now. And also, if you guys watching the E30 content, I'm gonna drop off the front subframe to get that powder coated as well. And then when I pick up the subframe from being powder coated, I should have some other things dropping off to get powder coated for both cars. Gonna have a lot of powder coated stuff. So we gotta hit the road in the Colorado. It's another cold one. We'll get a quick cold start for the boys. So I'm not gonna hide it from you guys. I was pretty conservative with the color. Now it was gunmetal gray before, and it was just spray paint. And I liked it, but then I thought it, it doesn't really match with anything on the car. It matched the wheels, but who knows how long I'll keep these wheels or before I get them powder coated or something. So it came down to basically wrinkle black or a glossy red to kind of match the hell rot red paint as best I could. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, I don't want it to be a real flashy roll bar. I want it to be subtle. I want it to look nice. I want it to look good with the rear seat delete. That's why I ended up going with wrinkle black and it came out really, really nice. So all that is left to do is uh, get it in the car, which is gonna suck. But also I got some new things to install it with. So the, the brackets that go underneath, I ended up grinding them completely down and painted them. I wanted to get them powder coated and then I totally forgot when I dropped off the roll bar. They came out really nice and before they were uncoated and pretty rusty so they look like new now. Then I got all new stainless steel hardware for all around. I have washers too but they haven't showed up yet. Bunch of new parts to install. I think first thing is to get the rear seat delete in place, at least the bottom part. We're just gonna wing it as we go. I'm not really sure. I hope this goes smooth because it did not go smoothly last time. It really sucked. Wish me luck. Bottom part is in. Now for the fun part, the cage. Not looking forward to this. Well, I take that back. I'm looking forward to it being done. And the bolting in part, I'm not worried about. It's just get physically getting it in here. Probably gonna do some taping up so I don't beat it up. So good. Don't want to count my chickens for the hatch. It's going better than last time. Ooh. Well, shoot, we're sort of in the car. Good news. Yeah, baby, let's go. Now, I did not have the headliner in here last time, so that, that could cause issues. So close. So freaking close. I'm out of breath. I guess pretty much it, boys. Oh, buddy. We are in there like swimwear. Should be decently lined up. 
I got it under the carpet. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Awesome, that went smoother than I thought it would. Happy. Seatbelts installed. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but I did the same thing that I did on the A pillars. I did a riv nut with a nice little flathead bolt up top to hold in the B pillars, which is way more secure than those stupid little clips that always break. So we're making really good progress. I'm really happy that I got the B pillar covers in and everything because this interior is coming together really nice. Well, the roll bar got a little delayed because Amazon lost my washers i had to order another set of stainless steel m10 washers they showed up now we can get to actually fully bolting this thing in so i got to jack up one side of the car at the time get all the bolts in hopefully everything lines up like it did before i don't see why it wouldn't and we can finish up this project finally I just installed all those and forgot to put the metal brackets underneath. What a giant waste of time that was. Yeah, I'm gonna need these. Try this again. Holy crap. Eight on the passenger side are started. Let's move over to the driver's side, do the same thing, and we can tighten them all down. They all lined up really, really well, just like I've uh, already installed this before. So now I just gotta tighten everything up. And the hardest part about this whole install will be finished. Now just to put everything else back together, which is gonna take equally as long and be as equally as frustrating, probably. Now we're on to the finishing touches. Might still have to make these holes a little bit bigger now that that's fully bolted in, but we'll see. Maybe I didn't think this through. Oh, this has been a frustrating project, to say the least. Aha! Aha ha ha! We're close. We need to do a little bit of trimming slash sanding. A little hot dog. I think I got it. At least sort of. So I gotta get those bolts in on the top. So that's next. And I put my speaker covers in. This is a thing for sure. But I got all four bolts in up top.
All right, gonna take a break for the night, come back, work more on it tomorrow. I gotta get all the crap out from the inside of it and I gotta give it a, a good vacuum. And then I'm gonna scrub all the carpets, I'm gonna scrub the seats. I'm gonna clean the rear off because there's like plastic stuff and dust and stuff everywhere. Finish putting the window seals in, clean the rear windows if I can get back there. And then put the front seats in and that should be about it. The worst part is over. She's almost done. Well, this thing turned out incredible. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the color of the roll bar. I love it. I think it looks great. So we have the interior pretty much wrapped up and trust me guys, it's far from perfect, but it's so much better than where it was even a year ago. New seats, new steering wheel, digital cluster, doubled in radio, rear seat delete, roll bar, headliner, ABC pillars, looking way, way better. This car is so much nicer to drive now with all the interior back in. Pretty much at least. And I just get a lot more enjoyment out of it rather than when there was no headliner and like sort of back seat, sort of roll bar, you know, crappy speakers, radio that didn't work, etc. So right now I really wouldn't change a thing. But maybe in the future I'll get a slick top headliner, have a professional wrap that, and then put that up there and it'll look a little more seamless. But as far as this video, all the mods are completed. I've got other mods sitting over there on the workbench. E30 work is going on. Probably gonna work on that today as well. If you wanna support the channel, check out BoostedApexDesigns.com. It's where you get hats, t-shirts, and stuff. A lot of E36 stuff on there that I'm, and I'm adding more E36 apparel. Cause it seems, that seems to be the most popular thing with you guys. So other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.